Welcome to another episode of the School G Star Series. And in this episode, we'll be talking about creating assignments in Schoology. Let's dive right on in to creating an assignment in Schoology. So, in your courses, you'll see Add Materials. So when I click on Add Materials in my courses, I will click see the Add Assignment. So this is where I will add an assignment to my course. So once I click on it, it'll load here and it'll give me uh, a couple of options. Okay, so the first thing is the name. I have to name my assignment. That way I'm able to use it. So I name my assignment, assignment. There we go. Okay, so I have my assignment here. Now from here, this is actually where I'm able to go in and add different types of elements to my assignment. So what this means is, in my description, I can give uh, either some type of video, or I can give some type of audio, um, or even text-based instructions inside of my assignment. So this is a what's called uh, this is a word box. Okay, this is will basically do a lot of the same thing as a, a word processor type box. You have all your uh, different font sizes and underlining, and there's a bulleted list if you need to your different colors and fonts that you can choose and then also any background colors as well and your formatting over here you have your insert content so this is where I'm actually able to go in and I'm able to add an image or some type of media I'm able to embed that image or media uh, I can assign a, a YouTube video if I have my YouTube app assigned here um, inside of Schoology, I can connect to it as well. I have my Google Drive resource app, so I can pull things from my Google Drive and insert them into uh, this description as well. If there's some type of uh, maybe Google Slide or something that you want them to watch first before they do the assignment, all that information is right there for you in the insert content. Now, before I start typing, I want to make sure that I hit this spell check button. So, by default, spell check is turned off. If I click on it and it becomes green, spell check is turned on, so I'm good to go from there. Now, if for some reason you start typing and you forget to turn spell, checks, spell check on, if I go ahead and click on the ABC and then hit the space bar, as you can see, uh, it will begin to spell check as I start to type uh, the different things. And then I keep going, okay? so. Once again, make sure that you have this green if you want to spell check. Underneath here at the bottom, you will see there is a file place for you to attach a file. These are all different types of attachment tools down here. So I can attach a file and I can pick from any of the things that I have here to attach. I can insert a link or attach a link to some, some other website or like I said a video you can even embed video or embed things right into there as well uh, through the assignment now this call this part right here where it says title if I do have some type of website in here that I have copied and pasted if I click on this button here it will actually auto grab the title for the links unless it is an embedded URL so if I use an embed code, I have to actually physically type the name of the title that's in there. So this is a pretty uh, cool little thing to have as well. Uh, over here, my resources, so anything that I have in my resource folder or in a resource group, I'm able to grab from there when I'm creating an assignment. I can also do an audio video recording. Say I want to tell the students uh, what they need to be doing or uh, you know, or video something uh, if I'm demonstrating something uh, in my assignment. Uh, this is where I would do that. So when I click on it, I, I just make sure that I hit the allow button uh, to use my microphone, use my video, and that I'm good to go. And we're gonna skip over this, but we'll come back to the Google Drive Assignments app a little bit later. So I can set a due date right here, okay? Um, and then I can also do my points. I have my grading categories. If you don't have any grading categories and you want to set those up, you can right here. Normally, uh, I'd go ungraded. Now, it still will grade your assignment if it is something that's multiple choice or something like that. Uh, because remember, we take grades in uh, Scoured. That's where we want parents to see their grades. But if you uh, want some grading category for yourself, so when you go look at the grade book, that's where you would 
uh, set those up underneath the grading options. Okay, and then you have uh, how are you going to grade it? What is what it's graded on? A scale or a rubric? Okay, we do numeric, or you can create a rubric. And when I say a rubric, it is you can do a uh, point based, you know, one, two, three, four, or a single point rubric uh, as well, right inside of Schoology. It, it's pretty neat how that works, and we'll have another video on what that looks like as well. And here at the bottom, you have your individually assigned option. So I can click here and I can actually come in and start typing students' names. There she is. There's Maya Thomas. Maya has got a little sloth thing there. And I can individually assign this assignment just to her. If or if I want it to go to maybe three or four people, maybe I'm doing some type of intervention or something like that, or they need to redo this, this is where I can do that right inside of Schoology. Uh, this next one is learning objectives. So if you want to add your teaks to there, you can. Uh, over here, we're going to skip this where the lock, we're going to go straight to the submissions enable. So by default, this is on. Anything that's in color is on. Anything that's in color is on. I just want to say that twice because I know sometimes it gets a little confusing. But if it's in color, it's on. If it's grayed out, it is not. It is off. So and submissions are enabled by default. If I click on it, it disables the submissions. Okay, so what that means is students are not able to submit into the submission part of the assignment. They're not able to upload something or um, complete something right inside of that submissions thing. Normally, if you are doing the, an assignment that's outside of Schoology, you will go ahead and disable submissions. Otherwise, it will track and say if it's late or if it's not late, if submissions are enabled or if someone turned in or didn't turn it in. Next to it, so publish to students. So uh, when it's green, that means the students can see it. As soon as you create this assignment, students will be able to see it. So you can publish it when it's green or you can unpublish it. And then later on, you can actually set a date for it to be published. Or you can just go into the gear and set that um, to be published or unpublished whenever you're ready for that assignment to be available. So you can create as many assignments as you want throughout the uh, semester or the nine weeks and then go in and when you're ready to for kids to see it it will show up right there on their Schoology. Okay and then next here this is kind of up to you too if you want students to comment on your assignments this is where you are able to leave that on that is on by default if you do not want them to comment on your assignments if you don't care what students think about your assignments but uh, then you can go ahead and cut that off but if you do want say maybe they have some questions about it I would go ahead and leave this on uh, by default that way that way uh, you will get information from them and also uh, clear up any kind of misconceptions about the assignment if that comes up. And then last but not least, you have the copy to course. So this is a pretty cool little deal. So uh, this allows you to copy anything that you created in the assignment or the, assi or the assignment itself to multiple courses. So when I click on that, I can go in and actually select all the different courses that I want to assign this particular assignment to. And it even gives you the option to place it in a certain folder, add a due date, it's default with the category, it's ungraded, and it's also default with the nine the, the weeks that you're currently in. So that is a pretty uh, neat little tool, a resource that's available to you to be able to create one assignment in, for all of your classes. I know we have a lot of them uh, here in our secondary, and so this kind of saves time for you as well. Okay, so once I'm done, I have my assignment created. I'm gonna go ahead and hit the Create button here. As you can see, there's my assignment. Select it. It's right here. It, uh, it all things that we create always, you know, when we add materials and stuff. They always get put at the very bottom. If I click on my gear, this is where I can, like I said, unpublish that assignment, copy to a course, or I can even save that assignment to resources. Or if you don't need it, I'm, I'm, I can delete it. If there's something that you're like, man, I forgot to put on there. Real simple. Click on the edit button, and you're right back into the assignment. And then you hit save changes. Once again, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, be sure to contact James Hughes or myself about our Schoology Scholar Series.